In the news, we'll hear about results from a breast cancer trial, obesity's link to cancer risk, and which type of vegetarian diet is the best for reducing cancer risks. All that and more starts right now on Onc Live News Network. Hello and welcome. I'm Laura Jones. First in breast cancer news, the overarching results from the phase three beacon trial looking at Eterinotecan Pegol were not very encouraging. However, the subgroup analysis demonstrated some promising outcomes for patients with brain and liver metastases. While the 2.1 months extended survival in the overall population was not significant, in the sub-analyses, patients with either brain or liver metastases had significant improvement in median overall survival compared with the control group. Rates of adverse events, grade 3 or above, were 48% in Eterinotecan Pegol compared with 63% in the control arm. Dr. Joyce O'Shaughnessy from Baylor Salmon's Cancer Center in Dallas, Texas shares that from a clinician's perspective, the combination of Eterinotecan Pegol's clinical benefit and improved tolerability supports its value as a potential new treatment option in late-stage breast cancer. We are all aware of the association between obesity and diabetes, obesity and heart disease, obesity and hypertension, and now more data confirms the link between obesity and cancer risks. A team of statisticians from Cancer Research UK assessed data to create a lifetime risk for several cancers in women who are obese. Overall, women who are obese are 41% more likely to develop one of these seven cancers compared with women who are a healthy weight. As you can see, the risk of developing gallbladder, uterus, and esophageal cancers are strikingly high. These data support past research and confirm the need for a public health approach to battling obesity to help reach down to the individual health level. One strategy for weight loss, a vegetarian diet, may also reduce the risk of developing various cancers. A study led by Dr. Michael J. Orlich out of Loma Linda University in California analyzed dietary intake and subsequent cancers in over 75,000 participants in the Adventist Health Study 2. The study revealed that individuals who ate a vegetarian diet were at a lower risk of colorectal cancer, colon cancer, and rectal cancer compared with participants who did not follow a vegetarian diet. Looking deeper into the type of vegetarian diet showed another striking finding. The team found that pesco vegetarians, those who eat fish, had a 49% lower risk of colorectal cancer greater than any other type, including vegan. Finally, this week we would like to highlight the OncLive Insights program titled Management of Immune Thrombocytopenia. In this series of videos, doctors Howard Liebman, Keith McRae, and Ivy Altomare provide their insights into diagnosing and treating immune thrombocytopenia, including newer therapies, the use of splenectomy, and managing bleeding risks. We invite you to explore this video series by visiting the website on your screen. And that'll do it this week for Onc Live News Network. I'm Laura Jones. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.